Yes, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Snipe You First, and in this video, we're going to be installing TeamSpeak 3 and Toco VoIP for use on a 5M server called 5PDRP. If you would like to join this 5M server, I will have a link down below where you can join their Discord channel. It's an excellent 5M server, and I reviewed it with a score of 9 out of 10. Phenomenal. Also, click the subscribe button. For every 1,000 subscribers I get on YouTube, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on Twitch. Be sure to check the links down below where you can find me on Twitch as well as join my Discord channel, The Spotters Club. I will post updates for when those giveaways happen. Also, I will have links in the description where you can download TeamSpeak and Toco VoIP. So, be sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below with any questions you have, and follow along. Do each step one by one, pause the video if you need. Are you ready to jump right in? It's time to get some. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we need to find out if we're running a Windows 32 or Windows 64-bit operating system. To find that information out, at the lower left-hand corner of your screen, you're going to type this in, System Information. Once you see System Information, you're going to look for system type. Mine says x64 based PC. Now yours could say x64 or x32. You're going to remember that number. It's minus 64. Close that out. Now go down to the video description where I'm going to have a link for TeamSpeak. Once you click on the TeamSpeak link, you're going to go to this download. This is where you're going to need to know if you have a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system for Windows. If you have Mac or Linux, you're going to click on these. Now ours is Windows, 64-bit. We're going to click on Download. That's going to download TeamSpeak and it's going to pop up in the lower left-hand corner. We're going to wait for that download and open it up. Okay, so now on this page, if you've never used TeamSpeak before, if this is your very first time downloading TeamSpeak, you're going to want to register with my team speak you're going to register all this and click register you need to to be registered with team speak in order to use team speak if you're if you've already had team speak you don't have to worry about that you're just going to log in with your your regular credentials so now the lower left hand corner is going to be what we just downloaded we're going to click on that to open it up okay welcome to team speak 3 client wizard go to next scroll down past all these terms of agreement and hit the checkbox next 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 you can install overwolf if you want it's an overlay for teamspeak where you can see people's names i'm going to install it now this this might not work with 5m but you'll have it for other things like discord or whatever else uh, overwolf works with so i'm just going to install it Click finish. All right, you might have to scroll through these terms of service as well. Just go all the way down. Click on I accept. Close out a pop-up. Now right here, it's going to need your account information for my team speak. You're going to enter in your email address and your password here and click log in. If you didn't create an account before, you can click on create account and you can set that up now. So I'm gonna enter in my information, we'll be right back. All right, so now once we're logged into TeamSpeak, we're gonna click on, first I'm gonna mute the sounds. Okay, we're gonna click on connections and connect. This is where you're gonna to connect to the server. Now, whatever 5M server you're in, you go to their Discord, talk with somebody, or just browse through the different channels. They should have a TeamSpeak uh, login information. You're going to enter their server nickname or IP address in here and their password. For 5PDRP, it's going to be an IP 104.143.3.86. And their password is capital F, number one, small v, number three, capital P. D R P. Then for your nickname, whatever you use in the server as your name, you're going to put right here for your nickname and then click connect. 
Okay, so now that we're in the server, we need to set up our, our settings. So go up to the top here where it says tools, click on tools, scroll down to options. And the first option we're gonna click on is playback. In here is where we're gonna set up how we hear all of our sounds. So we're gonna select the playback device. I'm using a Go XLR, so mine is gonna be chat. Yours, you can leave it on default, or if it does show up with your headphones or whatever uh, speakers you have, just click on that. Now the voice volume adjustment, this is gonna be where you control the voice volume. When you hear other people and they're too quiet, you can just slide this up and they'll be louder. Vice versa, if they're too loud, scroll it down. Sound pack volume, we're not gonna really worry about. Make sure you click own client plays mic clicks and other clients plays mic clicks. This is just for mic clicks. If you're not gonna have mic clicks, don't worry. You don't need that because the, the Toco VoIP is gonna have them built in. So you won't have to worry about mic clicks. But if you want your own mic clicks, you select those two. And now we're gonna hit apply. Now we're gonna set up our microphone. Click on capture, where it says capture device. You're gonna click on that and select your microphone. Next thing we're gonna do, we need to put push to talk on. This right here is gonna be your push to talk setting for in the game local chat. This is not gonna be for your police radio RTO. This is just gonna be to talk to people that you happen to walk up to or whatnot in the server. So right here in this box, you're going to select your keybind, whatever you want to use for in-game local chat for voice. You're going to click on that and click on the button you want to use. Now, if you ever hear any echoing, you can click this echo cancellation and that'll reduce some of the echoing. Click on apply. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is notifications if you don't like to hear user entered your channel user left your channel you can deactivate some of those sounds it's right here if yours says default sound pack female you're going to change the settings for that if yours says male make sure whatever you're using you, you switch on okay then you go down to client Click the drop down where it says connection. Click on the drop down, then connected. Click the drop down and uncheck server and current channel play. Same thing for disconnected. Click the drop down, uncheck server and current channel. Lost connection, uncheck server and current channel. Moving down to switched, use the drop down to current channel and uncheck and appears and stays in view. Same thing for away from current channel. Click on that and uncheck those two. Move to a different channel, same thing. Uncheck those three. Okay, then there's other settings in here. If, if you hear any other sounds, you can go through the rest of this and figure it out for yourself. Just Google it or, or check out another YouTube channel, but there's plenty of options where you can turn off sounds. Now what I have on is right up here in the top right corner, play only important sounds. That'll, that'll just play certain sounds. You can also uh, move it to play no sounds, but I keep it on play important sounds. Click apply and okay. So now what we're gonna do is install Toko VoIP. We wanna exit out of TeamSpeak completely. Go back down to my video description on this uh, tutorial video and you're going to select the, the link that says Toco VoIP. So Toco VoIP, that's going to take you to a GitHub and it's going to download automatically the Toco VoIP to the lower left hand corner of your screen. Open that up and then you're going to get a pop up for it to install. Now you must make sure that you do not have TeamSpeak open once you click install. So go ahead and do that right now. Click yes and yes. Okay, so now Toco VoIP is installed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on some radio 
sound effects. So what you want to do is go back to my downloads. I'm going to have a file. It's going to be a Google Drive. Click on that. And then there's going to be a Toco VoIP effect settings pick and a Toco and, and a radio effect settings picture. We're going to right click on each one and download them. Right click on that and download. So you'll have these two downloads. So what you want to do is drag them onto your desktop. Exit out of that. First one we're going to do is the Toco VoIP effects. So click that and open it up. Okay, so now we want to download the radio effects. So go back to my video description and you're going to click on the radio effects plugin. It's going to take you to this page right here and you're going to select either Windows 64 bit or Windows 32 bit, whichever one you have and click on download. Okay, open up the radio effects plugin. And it's going to pop up just like Toko VoIP did, but make sure that you don't have your TeamSpeak open when you select install. Click yes and yes. All right, so that's going to do it for all of the downloads. Now we're going to open up TeamSpeak 3. Up here at the top where it says plugins, you're going to click on plugins, go to the Toko VoIP one, and then you're going to go down to radio effects. This is going to pop up where you can change the sound of your radio effects. Check mark the home and it's going to unlock these settings where you can make adjustments. Now what I recommend is using my adjustments on the picture that you just downloaded before for the Toco VoIP effect settings pick. The first one is going to say 510 and the second one is 6000. So right here, we're going to enter in 510. The second one, 6,000. Next one is going to be 30, 50 Hertz and 0 0.10. Then the destruction is going to be set to four. Then the frequency range out is going to be 160 and 3,500. Now, if you, if you're not going to use RTO, for police or anything like that, you don't have to do any of these settings or you can turn it on and off by just unchecking the home. Check it to have it on, uncheck it to have it off. I'm going to leave mine on and exit out of that. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to close out the picture that you downloaded from me and you're going to open up the second picture for the, the radio effects. So the radio effect setting picture is right here. You're going to go back to your team speak, select plugins, and this time go to the radio effects and then radio effects. It's going to pop up something that we just did, but this one is for radio effects. Check mark the home to unlock the settings and follow along with my setting picture. First one is going to be 701 and 3000. The destruction is going to be set to five. And the frequency range out is going to be 326 and 3000. Once you have that, you can close out that and close my picture. Now under connections, we're going to connect back into the 5PDRP server by clicking on connect. So now Connected. we're in the 5PDRP. What you need to do to get into the game and use the Toco VoIP is right underneath where it says 5PDRP. Just scroll down to where it says Toco VoIP waiting channel. You want to enter in this channel and then it's going to move you to the 5PDRP channel. So double click on waiting channel. Channel switched. Okay, so you can see we're in here. Click on the OK. And I'm in here. Okay, once we're in here, 
Now we can open up our, our 5M server and join 5M. Once the Toco VoIP recognizes us, it should move us up to the uh, 5PDRP channels. So we can minimize TeamSpeak right now and open up our 5M. All right, so right now we're joining 5PDRP. It's gonna load us in game and it's gonna notice our Toco VoIP 1.5. Channel switched. Okay, so it just switched us over. So now we could go back in the game. Okay, so now we're in the game and it switched us to the right channel. If you still see the Toko VoIP pop up is still up, that means you, you may need permission to join and just get with somebody in their Discord to help you out. Or you can send me a message down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. So now, certain things you have to do in the game. Hit the escape button. Go up to your settings. Go down to voice chat. And you want to disable the voice chat. You want to make sure that voice chat enabled is turned off. We are not using any of the GTA settings for voice. We're using just TeamSpeak and Toko VoIP. So exit out of that. Now, to talk in game locally to somebody you walk up to that keybind that you did in team speak whatever you used for your playback you're gonna that's the that's what you're gonna use to talk to somebody now if you're an rto into a police channel you want to join the right channel so what you do is you type t to bring up your texting box you're going to enter forward slash radio. Enter. That's going to pop up this Motorola. Now, whatever department you're in, if you're in Blaine County Sheriff, you're going to enter their channel. It's going to be single digits. So this arrow right here next to the numbers, you're going to use press up. There's channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, whatever channel that you're doing. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to enter channel one and click on select. Hit the escape and that'll take the, the radio away. Now to use your in-game RTO for police radio traffic, you're going to push down and hold caps lock to talk. Your, your character is going to make a, a gesture like he's talking on his radio. For instance, here we go. Hold down caps lock. Testing one, two. 10 two, hear you loud and clear. 10 four. Okay, so that's all you gotta do. And remember, caps lock is for radio traffic only. The keybind that you set in TeamSpeak is gonna be for your local voice. So, yeah. Another thing that's cool about TeamSpeak is. If you don't like how, how bright it is, if we go back to our team speak, we can go to tools, go down to options, go to add-ons, go to browse online. And right here we can make team speak a little bit darker so it's not hurting our eyes. So I highly recommend using the NK dash Genesis red dark theme. There's other themes you can use. You can try them all out. But I, I'm going to try the NK Genesis. Click on that. Click on got it. Install it. There we go. Apply. Okay. So now we have the dark theme. So it's a little bit easier on the eyes. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Click on that subscribe. It does help the channel out big time. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Snipey First. And we'll see you on the next video.